Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher, and today's tangle is Anuka by Smite Toki. And I'm sure that, you know, I'll say I didn't pronounce her name right, but I I love it's just another flower pattern, and I'm gonna do it on a a plain white um, tile and we're going to start out and I'm going to start out kind of in the center just so and then I'll make my blossoms kind of go out and I'm going to make a very small one but we're going to start out with the shape of a house oh my goodness I've got to come in so you can see that we're going to just the little shape of a house so it's got flat sides and a little roof and when she, when uh, Smite did this one, she did a little square, but I find it much easier to do that little house shape because we're going to draw a line out from each one of these points and it just makes it a little bit more equal. And now we're going to come back and we're going to do some petal shapes. Some kind of pointed petal shapes rotating your tile around and so your pen is in the most comfortable position all the way around and now we have our little petals and then we're going to come and draw kind of an um, I don't know what the name of that shape is, but I, I would call it like a cat's eye. I know. I could look up the, what that shape is, but I don't know. Down from the point, down to the side of our little house. And you can see that our little house doesn't show up like a little house anymore. And that's the base of this tangle. But she went ahead and put lines that echo that same shape out on either side. And I love this technique because it builds up a little um, ink in the base and the top and just gives... I don't know, such beauty. And they can be really close together. Or as, you know, just mine are a little you know, different. But we want to just come down in these sides it just really gives this tangle a unique look I have left it plain on some of mine but I really prefer the original um, design I was just seeing what would it do if I didn't put those lines how would it look and I liked it but just not as well as it as I like the lines that just kind of come out from each side now you could put a design in the center of here like a circle or you can fill it in or another little stripe I'm going to go ahead and fill these in I mean put the orbs in there because I absolutely you know love orbs so I'm going to go ahead and just place these orbs in here even my fingernails tell you I love orbs and dots. And 
there we have the tangle. Now we can add some out to the edge. So I'm going to draw my little house. So there's my little house. And then I'm going to bring my lines out. And this time I'm not going to bring them out very far. This is going to be a little smaller one. But it is going to kind of holly ball under that one. But it has, you know, just such a cute little look. And then we're going to put our I don't know what that's called. I w should have looked it up. I said that before. And this time, I kind of went over the inside of that. So this time, I'm just going to color that completely in. Even though it's got a, you know, a little house shape, I think that that looks fabulous. And now I'm going to go ahead and do this same thing. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a few more of these and then we're going to shade. Mine kind of look like little spider legs going out. And then my little petal top. And here it's going to get holly bot under. And I, as I've said before, I kind of like to have an odd number when I do um, tangles. Not an even number. It just, the art looks a little bit more balanced. And even if the, the petals are a little... Um, I don't know, uneven, they still look great. That's the organic look of it, or the natural look of a tangle, is when they are not perfect. That's when it looks hand-drawn. And, you know, it looks like I have room for some other things. We'll have to just see what I'm, I decide to do. I may do a little fescue, because that's another one of my favorites. 
and I like to do that if I have feels like I have some imbalance So just a little fescue and now we're going to do a little shading and this time I'm going to do it with a, um, a pencil and I'm just going to put a little graphite down here in the bottom. Because I absolutely love um, the original black and white and gray tangles I they are I'm just really drawn to them I'm just a kind of a traditionalist I like to add color occasionally but um, I like that that really traditional so I'm just going to put graphite pretty heavy in that bottom there and then I'm going to take my shading stump and I'm going to blend it out and I left that center white on those and I think on one of them I kind of didn't leave it white so we'll have to but I really want to there right there I didn't leave it but I really want to leave that that center so that it kind of pops out. If I decide I want to go back and put orbs in there, I can, but I don't believe I'm going to. And then I'm going to just take my shading stump and put a little, you notice I did, I just took it right from the tangle and just smeared it out here around the outside edge just to give it a little shadow behind there and then another thing I really like to do and I don't like to do it with an 01 because I am terrible about pushing in so I'm going to pick up my um, it's a graphic one pencil I mean and I'm going to put just a few little specks around my tangle and look there we have it isn't that a great tangle and it could be easily done in your tangle a day calendar thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and have a great day.